How is it going everybody? Scott the Mass Nerder here with Nerd Talk Be Advised. And this week there has been a lot of development in Battlefield 3. And if you notice in our last few episodes we sort of drifted away to general gaming. Well, we're back pretty much all Battlefield 3 this time. There's been a lot of developments. We're going to be talking about the new patch that just came out. <coughs> then we're going to go a little bit into that patch and general gaming I guess. And sort of these gun nerfs and buffs. How necessary are they? And then we're going to be talking about our impressions of Armored Kill. So it's going to be a good episode. If you want to skip ahead at any time, if you're watching this on YouTube, not here live with us, click on the bottom, especially if you want to watch a little bit now, come back to the video later. All those titles on the bottom, you can click on and fast forward to any of those. It's also in the description for you. And if you want to meet any of our hosts more on our channel, click on any of our faces, you'll go back to our channel. And today we do have a special guest with us today, that's CanJamin000. So thanks for being with us. And hey, thanks for having me, Scott. Uh a little bit nervous going into this, but... Uh, Is this like your first time having your face on your on the screen? <laughs> uh, no, I had a couple of videos on my channel, so uh, okay. some people are used to seeing me, but you know. Yeah, well, we appreciate you coming on. Actually, the third topic here... Is he, he suggested it, and I was like, oh, you know what, that was a good topic. Let's, let's bring you on. Let's have some fun bringing you on here. And then you guys know Mr. Time himself and Culprit008, regular host here on the show. So. Hey. Um, again, watching this on YouTube, make sure you subscribe to the show, or if you ever want to come be live with us, hang out with the chat, just come follow us on Twitch, um, <laughs> twitch.tv backslash massnerder, links in the description as well, you can hang out with us live, typically around 10pm Eastern, Friday nights, sometimes we'll do it Sunday morning though to give some of you guys on the other, other side of the pond a chance to hang out with us too. And so, all of you hanging out with us now, welcome, thank you, and it's Venom, Crazy Cookies, Nova Dragon, uh, Mort Time Crab. <laughs> Hope I'm saying that. Rusher Attack. I think you're new. I haven't seen you. Welcome. Time Crab. What's that, Roger? More Time Crab. More Time Crab. Mortimer. Oh, that Mortimer. Was tough. Okay, but to get started, you know, first, just, you know, it's, um, I think it's been two weeks. We took last week and off for holidays. So, how's everyone been doing these last two weeks? You guys in the chat, too. <laughs> I'm good. Just been real busy, man. Uh, yeah. I hear you. Getting get ready for summer to be over. <laughs> I am so ready. And well, summer's uh, over where I am, so. <laughs> yeah. You mean it's getting cold? Yeah, well, it's probably, like, tonight's about uh, 7 degrees here, I guess, which is... Uh, <laughs> oh, did I not say? This is our first <laughs> international <laughs> episode. Yeah, did, you just do it? A boot. From, from Canada, <laughs> if, you didn't, if you didn't guess. So. <laughs> We're spreading out. We're really going far. We're really diversifying, as you can tell, all the way up to Canada. <laughs> So. We're getting huge, yep. huge. Uh, we spread worldwide, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the wings are spread out. Yeah, <laughs> yep. So, if you guys are in the chat and you want to get a hold of us a little better, you know most of us had the chat open, but it's hard to keep up with it. Make sure you put at symbol at nerd talk at culprit at mass nerd whatever. Put something like that. It'll stick out for us better. So let's start off the first topic here, what we're going to talk about, and that's just sort of meeting Jammin. Some of you guys might not have heard of him. He's no stranger to us. I know I met him back, I think, around PTFO. That's when yep. I started. So I've known him for a little while. I think the other guys here have known him. But how about you introduce yourself to anyone here who's, who's new? Well, as uh, Scott mentioned, uh, my name is uh, Jammin, Can Jammin on YouTube. I uh, met Brian when I started my YouTube channel way back when. Uh, Brian, you yeah. a little something. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's me. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Brian uh, sent me something, and that was way back when our channels probably did not exist, and they're not no, that mine didn't. Big, no, and they're not that existence <laughs> that big in existence. I think I'm still on PS3, yeah. We, yeah, we were on PS3. We played a couple games, and uh, mm -hmm. me and Brian, or corporate, uh, have been friends ever since. And uh, as you mentioned, Scott, I met you through uh, Project PTFO, and Mr. Tom himself. The only time I've seen uh, this gentleman has been on uh, this particular. Uh, show that you host, and I've watched it a couple of times, so it seems like a pretty cool guy, so, you know? Oh, yeah. Well, well, welcome. I think you guys, he makes a lot of Battlefield 3 videos. That's all I've watched. Do you, do you make other, play other games, too? Or post them online? Uh, I play other games. I mostly uh, do a bit of Need for Speed and that kind of thing. Uh, looking forward to Medal of Honor, I think, is my next big title, nice, but yeah. uh, mainly Battlefield 3. Used to play Call of Duty, uh, raised doing that a little bit, which we'll discuss a little bit later on in some of the things that you've added with... Uh, Armored Kill, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, welcome. If you guys awesome. haven't, haven't swung by his channel, click on his face, or if you're in the chat there, just type in under his face there. That's the after the URL, so you'll be good to go. <laughs> All the boots you need. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Alright, and if you guys didn't notice, we're, Puppy's not with us tonight. He was a little busy, but 
I didn't shave all week to try to make up for his I goatee. thought of, I was going to go goatee. I, my wife said, no way. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, was, they, I was real scruffy, too. It would have done him justice. But sorry, <laughs> sorry, puppy. Oh. <laughs> wife, <laughs> wife beats puppy. Oh, man, I just showered. It's wet, not greasy. They're making fun of me. I know. Miss Nair is picking on you. Yeah. I had right. to shave for, for work today. <laughs> so. uh, you know, I was going to... <laughs> you can tell it's his first time on a webcam. <laughs> yeah. No, that that sounds really cool in Canada. They really. It is. This is what's in up here. They're, they're a few yeah. years behind us in the U.S. guys. So if yeah. you're watching, you know that. What are you a globe trotter? I try to get in. All right, so let's um. We do have a lot of topics. So I do want to try to jump into it. And we started, you know, ten minutes late. We'll hop into it right away. Unless anyone's got any housekeeping business. No one. All right. Nah, so, moving into our post patch impressions, and that you know, there's another big patch with the other releases, and I guess there's sort of been a lot of big changes, or some changes that have really <coughs> affected a few certain things. So, um, we're gonna, you know, if you guys have any in the chat, have any opinions on the post, on the patch, or anything you want us to bring up, make sure you type it up for us. And then, you know, who wants to start off? Who's got some opinions on these these patch notes and stuff? I don't know, I was running around with the UMP45 earlier. It made some nice improvements. It's fairly fun to run around with now. I haven't gotten a chance to play with this, all the stuff because they changed so much. Yeah. Lots of little yeah. tiny changes. That's what it is. Yeah. It's it's balance tweaks. It's, you know, like you said, the UMP, I don't know. I, I Everybody's raving about it. It's a darling of the patch right now. That, yep. the G36, mm -hmm. uh, 416... AS Val apparently, you know, M5K. Somebody's been going to say M5K. That D Crew column was. Yeah, all that over is the biggest one, I think, because that one went from garbage to I really like that gun now. Uh, I didn't have the success with the UMP, and I wanted to because I, anybody who played Beta remembers the UMP from yep. Beta. Oh my God, it was That's just almost as good. I mean, you knew you felt dirty, yeah, but I don't think so. Like I, I, I don't know. I, I think you have to play change your playstyle so much because it's. So, the slower firing SMG, you can't like rush with it, but oh, it hits hard. <laughs> it hits hard, so you just gotta play a little differently. And I and I didn't do that, so. Yeah. But the M5K, I, ooh, that thing's just fun. <laughs> yeah, for me, it's been the uh, G36 because that was my favorite weapon when Battlefield 3 was first released, and I got up to 10 service stars or something like that. And when they they basically patched the oblivion of it, I mean, it was useless. And since uh, pre-patch again, it's just an awesome weapon. I love it. Yeah. yeah, and you need engineer. I will tell you, you will play no other mm. kit but engineer. <laughs> so you we'll get into that. that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. But so yeah, G thirty. A few we got here in the chat. M M five K definitely popped up. G thirty six came out, and I actually am a big fan of that gun. I don't know. I just like the way it feels. I like the way it looks. Yeah. I, have, I don't yeah. always have the best success with it as of recently, yeah. but I'm I'm fun of that yeah. fan of that gun. I don't know if Polygon's here, but the SG553 is is got a nice little. It's 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 very equitable to the MG36. It's very similar. Probably a little yeah, more longer similar, range. Though. Yeah. But yeah. it's it's good. I mean, I liked them before. They weren't. You had to run M4, but those ones I liked. I enjoyed using, like you said. But they weren't the. But you could tell they weren't the best weapons. Now they're right up there. I mean. The shot buck, buckshot went from a what is it was a six to a five hit kill or was it seven to six? And they made it better at close range. It you can tell, especially I, with yeah, the lower great. power counts on some of the shotguns. <laughs> the most so. fun for me is definitely shotguns. Like I yeah. so uh, I like seeing low. You I just try the I'm shotgun great. slugs. There's a lot of skill at that. It's, it's, yeah. it takes a lot of skill. You really feel like a real player. <laughs> no, and can't they stand. I can't see shotguns at all, man. <laughs> oh god. Hey, you know me. I want to take them out. <laughs> take them out. Just, they don't. They had nothing but problems in my opinion. So yeah. they're fun every now and then, but you know. To, to, to go off what we went off, I don't know if it was last week or the last podcast, yeah, we, we mentioned M16. So I think there's actually been some changes to M16, right? Do you guys have any? Not much. Uh, I'm an M16 whore. You guys know it. That's my baby. <laughs> uh, it didn't feel any different to me. But you know uh, what it is? Like I think if you're using M16 right, you're using it hip fire, you're using it close range, you're using it medium range. Yeah, they added some recoil. It jumps a little high, upper right now. It's a little little tougher to use, but if you if you know the weapon, you'll be okay. Yeah, uh, it's not as easy mode as it was. It takes a little more, which is fine. I didn't nerf it. I wouldn't say they nerfed it. They tweaked it, and what they did was they buffed other guns to bring it up to it. Like the 416 is definitely there now. Um, there's there's other guns that you know and people obviously love the AEK and it got a reduction in reload. Not really noticeable. It's more an animation thing, I I think. <clears throat> yeah. I can't really use the AEK that well. It just doesn't fit with me. I probably just haven't used it enough. Yeah. But right now, 416 is right there with the M16, and I think once people figure out the exact attachments you use, 
it might even pass it. But yeah. if you love the M16, you're not going to be upset. Yeah, if you pay any attention to the videos on YouTube, everybody is saying that the you know the M416 is the new go-to weapon for the assault kit. Uh, I game with it a couple times. I played. Uh, I will tell you, my gameplay on PC has been, I think, a lot better with the M416 than it is on the PS3. If that makes any sense, I don't know if it has to do with the uh, console itself, but uh, that gun doesn't feel that different to me. But every no. person you die or you get killed by is using the M416. It seems yes. like. Yeah. 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 And that's that's you. YouTube does that. Yeah, we yeah, mentioned that. absolutely. Yeah, the, yeah, that's the thing. It was a good gun before, so it's like I don't understand what the, all the hubbub's about. It was a good gun. It just had a slower fire rate, so it was a little more friendly. Like it, you, it slowed you down. You could aim a little more. And now they've just made it a little more accurate spread wise and stuff at a range. So I mean, it, it's a good gun. It was before. It's it's even better now. But yeah. I mean, it you throw good. a suppressor even on it, and it's nice, which is kind of scary. You know, now you get the stealth, and it, it, yeah. but. People are still fi figuring that out, like what the best setup is, but it, it didn't really shuffle the deck in the assault class. Like not quite like the engineers. Now you got the G thirty six at the top, or the or the yep. all purpose with the M five K was nothing, and now it's it, it's up there. You know the assault class stayed kind of stacked the same way, but they just you know it, it, there's like three or four weapons at the top now, which is, I think is fine. So I, I applaud that. In this, before we move over to some other thing, we're still talking about guns, I guess, in the patch. Would you guys, I mean, do you guys have, like, a top few now that changed your top favorite guns? Or maybe how about some that also maybe are now <laughs> you don't think are good, sort of like the new garbage guns? Just in your opinion, if you want to give us one, two, three in each top and bottom for each of you, you guys have something? I'll let you guys go first. <laughs> go ahead. I'm just going to say, I think what... I'm sorry, go time. <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I so, haven't had enough time with them yet. I was what I was going to say is I, what I, the thing I think that they did right is they didn't really they didn't nerf any guns and this is what I've been screaming out on forever like don't chop the knees out of a gun like bring the other guns up to it and I think that's what they're trying to do here uh, I, I'm not going to say anything is my favorite right now it's still M16 I know that gun I can do yeah. anything I want with that gun if I put that much time into one of these other ones now it probably could be my new favorite I just don't know if that's going to happen with my my, my life yeah. but. I guess I, I liked the 416 before. I like it now. Scar L got a little bit of a buff, too. Uh, you know, guns like that definitely, you know, I know, I know the heavy barrel got a little bit of a, a nerf, so to speak. So it's hard to see how all these things shake out. you got to really play with them. Yeah. As far as engineer class, though, yes. I mean, that's definitely changed. Uh, I'm, I, but that's because the G36, SG5, i 3 were personal favorites, but I knew they weren't the best gun. I just got yeah. bored. Cause I, I think because I play the M16 so much, then I go to the engineer, I play the M4, it's like the same freaking gun. So, yeah, yeah. You know, and yeah. I like the idea that I can grab a different gun now and go. So engineer cool. class change, for sure. But guys, uh, just something about all these buffs and nerfs and all this. I mean, uh, most of us work and we have a life inside a game. I mean, how do you, like for me, I'm a victim of taking a weapon and just using it. I don't know about you guys. I don't change it up that often. Uh, I have a couple weapons that I like to go to. Another one for me is the MP7. And I don't know. I haven't played with the MP or the M5K. But for me, it's, right now, it's the G36. It's the M416 uh, as opposed to the M16. And I do not <laughs> snipe. And the other one's the MP7. So, I mean, that's for me, that's the way it is. And I'll play those kits. And the AK is a great weapon as well. So, yeah. you know. But I don't deviate that much, to be honest with you. I try to just for YouTube. That's really it. Otherwise, it'd be the same way. Uh, you know, I, and I do just try to make my game a little better all around. But yeah, I kind of. If you look at my stats, I'm M16, M4. I've seen Type 88. I think two or three times came up in the chat. I'm surprised. I don't. I don't know if there's anything new to that. I don't remember that. Well, the belt feds got a buff. They're a little. They're, I think their cone spread is a little smaller. So you might see it across all the belt feds, but. Type 88, yeah. I can't. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's one of best favorite guns. I don't think an LMG can make it on the list, but <laughs> yeah. it's it a little bit better from the. Yeah, it spreads a little better. The bipod helps a little bit more, which I think is a is appropriate. Yeah. They weren't quite as accurate as you might hope from the bipod, but it's not going to change anything really. No, they they haven't. Yeah, they haven't like just totally changed it, which is good. They need to stop doing that. Um, they have just kind of. They flatten the play. You know, there's there's not such a divide now between the best and the worst. I, I think, yeah. and yeah. you know, they try to give the LMG some love. We'll see. I, I don't know. I still probably if I go support, I'm gonna grab like an M5K or you know UMP yeah. something like that. And 
we we've been running LMGs with with our crew for a little while now, LSATs, and it's like it's yeah. it's a joke. <laughs> so it, it really is. Time. Uh, the one thing I think they really did change was the Stinger, the Igla. Oh, yeah. Those are I haven't had a chance to play with them yet, but that looks very very different. Yeah, so Chopper, you just better get used to it. <laughs> so we yeah. we talked about the guns though, but I guess there's been some changes with the vehicles and stuff. You guys want to mention that? And if you guys, I'm not having many opinions because I haven't had time to play anything this entire week. So <laughs> just keeping us on track, try to keep us moving. That'll be my job, my role. But the vehicles, I mean, I've read, I've read, so and I've watched videos. Yeah, the, the choppers are just bending over and taking it. I mean, that's it. I mean, they're they're, they're no longer they can't get below radar. So anything to lock on them, which I, I guess is a fair play for a chopper. And then, like like Time said, the Stingers and Eagles are just, they got a huge buff, and they're just destroying things now. So, I mean, chopper pilots are not happy. Personally, <laughs> before this, because I've played before this, I thought they were a little underpowered. I don't uh, think you, that the were. helicopters need to be changed, but I think they, mm -hmm. they deserved something else, because I felt like I struggled, even with, like, two of us trying to take down a good chopper. You're talking about the Stingers, so, right? Yeah. Not choppers. Yeah, 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 I agree. So I'm saying, I don't know that choppers need to change, but I thought right, that's, I wanted that's to be more saying. effective taking them down. I wanted better weapons to take him down. That's that's what everybody's yeah. pretty much saying is, yes, buff the Stinger, buff the Igla. Why did you have to just neuter <laughs> the chopper? And yeah, it's true. I mean, uh, I'm not. I, I I usually hesitate to talk about up there because I don't yeah. want very often. Yeah. Yeah. I'm on the ground. Yeah, yeah it's I'm pretty obvious yeah. when I'm when I'm sitting there and I'm pulling guys down. It's like, okay, what's <laughs> going on? <laughs> yeah, I just took him down by myself. It, yeah. It's a nice feeling. It is a it's, it's a liberating feeling to do it as as an infantry guy. But and tanks, tanks have gotten a pretty good nerf because as I understand it, again I'm not a vehicle guy. You can all, you know like when you shoot a main your main shell and you switch right away to the canister shell and shoot basically shooting two. You can't do that anymore. There's there's a deviation. Maybe the chat can help me out with this because again I'm not a, I'm not a vehicle guy or time. Well, I don't know before we time to play. Cool, but your mic's sort of like going in and out on high volume. I wonder if you want to just plug it in. But yeah, if you guys want to go in on the tank jam in time, you get that. I haven't had a chance to really uh, experiment with the tanks. I don't even know if I have canister shell on lock on the tanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even pay that much attention to the tanks. But I have been absolutely destroyed by a tank. Not <laughs> it yeah. hasn't had so you you don't get that one shot, and then you think you know he's reloading, and you can't you know try to run across some machine gun fire. Instead, you get the canister shell in your face. Right. <laughs> that hasn't happened. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. I mean, and, and I thought that was that was that should have been the way it is anyway. Like you should have to decide what do I shoot here? Do I shoot one or the other? Shouldn't just go. I'll shoot them both within three seconds and yeah. you know go. Yeah. But apparently it's nerfed them pretty bad. I I don't know. Jamie, are you big? So I don't know how. We are pretty much all like infantry guys. So that's when we talk vehicles. Yeah. We're pretty much like yeah. no yeah. clue. I am as well. I mean. Uh, I do spend a fair bit of time in tanks, and I will tell you, I know you guys haven't played the maps yet, but you better get used to playing in tank because, or you're no. just going to be running and running and running yeah. and running, and this seems like all you do when you're not in a vehicle. Yeah. Um, so you, you, you will need to use the vehicles quite a bit just because it's the only way to get to flag point to flag point, and I can't imagine when this moves to PC how many flags are going to have on like a Bandar Desert, which I'm sure we'll talk about shortly. Yeah. But these maps are huge, so you need to start using the vehicles, and uh, I posted a video today, and I mean, the, you know, tank on tank, I mean, you can certainly win if you have an engineer with you that's repairing you, so I don't find a big difference there, and yeah, you know, okay, not much. tanks, it's, uh, nah, I so, find it pretty simple. To keep moving, I mean, do we have, we talked about vehicles a little bit, we know there's not much to say about the helicopter, so yeah, it's, it's not it's not doing too well, we talked about some of the guns that have changed, um, some favorites there, is any other gameplay oh, yeah. things that we there's want to talk about one. in the patch? Huh? Huge, huge. Anybody guess? <laughs> regard to vehicles? They put letters on the control <laughs> points. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> 11 thing. months later. 11 that's months. Uh, some of those things, that's just like surprising. It's like, what? <laughs> but, what okay. Was it a big discussion on what font to use? <laughs> <laughs> but I tell you what, man. It, it, no, I'm not going to lie. It's great. Yeah, and uh, like I said, a few games are played on console. I mean, you can actually look down. Oh, yeah, well, the burning D, yeah, the burning C. I mean, you're you're not okay. Wait now, one, two. Well, on mm -hmm. console, it's one, two, three, or four. But yeah. <laughs> you know, well, how many times I've called Delta uh, when it was Bravo and the other yeah, way around? Yeah, they're yeah. taking the the second from the right. They're taking <laughs> the second one from the right. Yeah. It's just oh, such man. a. Uh, I don't know. I gotta but, laugh. That reminds me though. They. Uh, they did change how the MCOM attacker and MCOM defender ribbons work, so I don't know. We'll see. I like the change, but 
I don't know if it really matters that much. It's just when you get points. So a few other things really mechanics. we got in the chat before we move on here. Some other things they <laughs> just mentioned. If you guys want to elaborate on your, you're welcome to. We don't have to. Uh, Jet's turning radius has been nerfed a little bit. Uh, like a boss said, ATVs. Uh, uh, what else do we have? New height ceiling. And so <laughs> one said the letters aren't working for him. He has a rubbish TV. But <laughs> that's uh, more. I got his name wrong. Yeah. It's Mort Mort Crabs. <laughs> Mortimer. I don't, I don't Mortimer. Think, Oh, oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm not going to say that name anymore. But, and a few other gun things. Below radar not working still. Uh, what do you think about dropping out of the AC-130 on Rush? We'll get to more armor yeah, kill stuff right at the end. So, unless you guys have any other patch notes discussions, we'll, we'll move on to the next, excuse me, the next topic. Good? Yeah, All I mean, it's right, good. So. Uh, the only other thing I think I have is that the 93R is... Still oh, yeah. pretty good. It's just the hip fire isn't quite as awesome. So, oh. and okay as I that. mentioned last night, it's no longer a primary weapon. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that thing I could that's all right. people, man. Oh yeah, yeah. it did. It's a it's secondary, not, no, not a primary. Yes, it's not killed, but it's not. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, it's, it's still a two burst kill, but yeah. So the hip fire, yeah. It's nice to see. That's what it seems things, like, though, right? Yeah, oh. definitely, definitely. Some there. Oh shoot, I just realized. Alright, that's okay. Alright, we'll hop into the next topic right now. So this topic is a sort of a discussion about, you know, we're seeing through not just this game, but all games. It's like, yeah, look at this kind of stuff. It takes us 11 months to add letters that should have been on a thing, even if it's not a big deal. You know, add letters on our um, HUDs and stuff. But it seemed like every month you know, they're patching weapons. They're nerfing a gun a little bit. They're buffing this gun a little bit. They're constantly changing this gun over and over and over again. And so when Jamin brought this topic to us, I thought this is a pretty interesting thing. So definitely in the chat, we'd love to hear your opinion. That's just, is this really a good thing? Is this a benefit? You know, should we be changing guns so much? Or should we just sort of like, these are the guns, you know, glitched, I think we can all agree. We want to get the glitched guns out of there, you know, if there's bad glitches. But other than that, um, and that's sort of what you're going with, Jamin, right? Sort of, do we need all this constant changing? <laughs> Yeah, like, what I was thinking of, it seems like every time you get used to a certain thing in a game, they change it, and I can kind of understand why they do it, because, you know, video gaming uh, is an industry where they're always trying to attract new players, and for me, when people get upset that they change this about their helicopter, they change this about a tank, I mean, they're trying to bring people into their game, I mean, if you go buy Battlefield right now, and you're a new player coming to this game, it can be quite intimidating, I think. Yeah. I mean, it's not like picking up uh, the other FPS. I'm not going to get into that war, but, you know, it's just to add a bit of variety to, as uh, my friend Rebel just mentioned in the chat there, it's, it's, I don't know how to say it, but I mean, it's to try to keep it fresh for people that are coming in. I don't know if it's really necessary, but it keeps, like, you know, my G36 is back, and I think it's just fantastic yeah. for me, but... Again, for a new player coming into uh, Battlefield, I would not want to be level one right now. I can tell you that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I was. I was gonna say the same thing. Actually, I thought I was gonna like pose this question to you guys. Like, the more they do this, the more I really think they do it on purpose. Like, Definitely. from a development standpoint, the way they do it is the worst way you can do it. It's big patches infrequently. Like anybody yeah. that does coding and, and and quality assurance and things like that, you want to do little patches often. You know, it's just easier to troubleshoot. You know, the more they do it, and they do it right before patches, I really think they almost see these patches as like a mini DLC. It like changes yeah. the game, it yeah. refreshes interest, yeah. and I really think at this point now, a year later, they've they've stuck to this model, whether there's bad game breaking bugs or not. They feel that when they put out a patch like this, players come back, and we do. Like I was burnt out on Battlefield Three. Now I come back, I'm checking things out. You know, new guns. It's 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 like they just gave us a new gun pack. It's like, oh, here's the G36, and here's the SG5, and the M5K. Yeah. You know, Ron, so just a little point with that, you advertise every single day about that when you put a video on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Of course, exactly. everybody watches it and they're saying, holy right. shit. I think it's... Four and six, I'm going there. Yeah, it is, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I, I think there's obviously cost of console publishing and things like that it factors in, but you've made almost billions of dollars in this game. You're telling <laughs> me a $50,000 patch is going to really bother you? And not much. Yeah, I think I, th I think there's a little strategic move here of saying let's hold this patch, and we're basically going to give them Battlefield 2.3 now, and we're going to give them Battlefield 2.5 later, and then you know like, it, 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 and it does. I mean, and and to be honest with you, it it works for me. Like I come back, I'm like, okay, I got to figure all these things out again, both as a YouTuber and a gamer. Yeah. So, 
I can't complain. complain. Time. What's what? your... Uh, the thing is, you've got a lot of little changes, and if you're really hardcore, you're going to notice the differences. Yeah. But most people, it's like, oh, it's still the same gun. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it doesn't bring a lot of people who are casual out of their comfort zone. But the hardcore players, like I said, you come back to try and see what little changes, what, how the balance of the game shakes out again, and yeah, they're trying to shake things up, and uh, I think they're doing a decent job of it. Yeah. And so. yeah, we think we're headed towards a more balanced game, but. In the end, after a month, everybody's going to be running the same two or three weapons in each class. Definitely. Uh, I don't see it happening either you know, way. I was actually thinking, I guess, a different lines, and you all seem to seem like, I can find the good in this, and not that I can't see the good, but you're leaning towards it's better because it's keeping things fresh. For me, I'm sort of like, and I don't know, it's, I feel like they spend so much time on guns that they're neglecting other things. Because look at some of the stuff, some of the game things that have just never been there that get added so late. Not oh, just yeah. this patch, but the last patch. Every patch, it's like, <laughs> wait, if you give a break, fix the glitch gun, but work. So I don't know if we can say that it's really, I don't know if it's the exact same people working on either thing. If we can say it's like, a, oh, we're doing gun patches, so we're not going to do add theater mode. Or, okay, we can do theater mode because we're not doing, I don't know if it works like that. For me, though, I'm thinking, I can see where you guys are coming from. I didn't think about that before, that yes. It adds some variety, it spices up the game, and I'm all about spicing up the game and changing things up. But also, I feel like, I don't know, I sort of like my guns. I get connected to a gun. I'm like, hey, I like using this gun, I really like... And then when they... It changes a lot, or other guns... And no, not all change a lot, but some some do, you know? And I'm like, now this gun I can't use, and I liked it. I don't know, I guess a little... I get connected to a gun, you know? I really like a gun, no, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. And the other thing is that I feel like it it possibly takes away from other things they should be working on. So that for me, but... Um, well, they obviously have limited resources, so that's yeah. that's valid. I mean, they've, they've told us as much. I mean, like you said, I don't think the same development team is working on gun balance that would be a battle recorder, because that's a, that's a big project. I, I mean, mm -hmm. as much as I want it... Those people are working on battle recorder are working on the next game. That's oh, yeah, absolutely. No. And, it, and it's, yeah. it's going to be battle recorder and spectator mode. It's probably yeah, all that, battle recorder. That's, that's hardcore. Uh, right. I know nothing about software, but that's hardcore. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But, but I'm not you know, just saying that. Like, I mean, there's a lot of game things. Yeah, I you're feel just like, saying resource yeah. al uh, allocating resources. That's yeah. all it is. And I and I agree. I mean, do they need the, to change guns that are in the game, or should they be giving us new guns? You know, like, uh, like you know, the yeah. M16 could have stayed the same. Just give us a different variant. Yeah, that's what I would prefer, yeah. per personally. Uh, I mean, I play this game too much, and so I, I actually like the challenge of refiguring everything out every now and then, but I don't like that they do it like, I think they should do the patch, like, mid, in between DLCs. You know what I mean? Like, why do we get the patch and the DLC the same freaking week? Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's, it's worth the time. Yeah. And it yeah. as a YouTuber, it would really help me out <laughs> six <laughs> weeks ago to have this patch to talk about. You know, <laughs> it's just dumb. It's, it's, I don't know. But, you know, I mean, that's first world problems, so to speak, right? <laughs> yeah. But, I just, it, and it's, it's weird. I mean, imagine me, I mean, I'm not PS3, but now you got, you got, you're you logging in that first day, you got to deal with all the new patch changes, new maps, new game modes. It's just, it's a new game, which yeah. people say, great, but yeah, not necessarily. When it's a game you've been playing for a year now, you kind of break it up a little bit <laughs> and make some new yeah. things. But, I mean, all in all, I mean, you guys know, I'll rant on dice all day long, but I think they did a good job with this patch. I think they did, yeah. they didn't kill any weapons, they didn't nerf the hell out of anything, they brought other weapons that are now viable. We should see some more variety. Like Time says, guys are going to figure out the king kits really quick, but I think there's going to be more more king kits than, than there were. Yeah. But of course, they're going to they're gonna go back the other way with vehicles and planes and just buff the hell out of them again. So. <laughs> that's, and that's the thing, though, really. like With a large community like this and then controversy sells, especially on YouTube when YouTube plays, no one's ever going to be happy. Because even if things were like okay... A YouTuber is gonna say this is the best gun, yeah. or someone's gonna say this is the worst gun, and yeah. people are gonna latch onto it no matter what you do. But um, yeah, so I like think it's you guys open. Where was the use aspirator, right? Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. So did we get any more uh, any more fails in the update where the uh, you know you can still get on top of the map? Did do we have anything like that this time? Well, there's uh, a well. I should pull it up. I haven't read it. There is a Reddit thread of all the things they messed up. Oh, oh my gosh, Reddit. <laughs> I don't know, nothing jumped off at me. Where did I see this? Uh, there was, there was uh, something about the down. M16 suppressed spread that was weird. I, th I think the AUG, if you use the underbarrel with the AUG, the like the iron sights get messed up. It, it, like stupid things like that, you know. Nothing nothing game breaking as far as I've uh, picked up. Choppers, I guess we keep forgetting about choppers so we don't fly the, a lot. The AUG smoke. 
Mm, yeah. I bet that got fixed. <laughs> I right. hope. It wasn't a big deal, but it was kind of silly. Alright. Well, any... Well, we'll we need more stuff. No. <laughs> <Don't> <laughs> really. Yeah, I just got a new light, too, so I'm usually, like, hidden like culprit like this. But, new light. Get a little bit of brightness in here. Alright. Well, while culprit looks up some of that stuff, maybe we can bring it up later in the show. Somewhere. I think we'll move on from this topic. Let's jam it. I mean, is your topic... you have anything else you want to say about it? I sort of... You went the other uh, way I thought you were going to go. You seemed to go positive, and I thought you were, were against. <laughs> He's not a complainer. You know, that's my I, I, no, I don't complain very much because uh, <laughs> I don't like to breed negativity. Uh, you know, like uh, you look at this Reddit threads. I don't read that stuff. I don't like to post videos about things that are affecting a game I love because I really do love Battlefield. So uh, for me, uh, it's all good. You know, is it necessary? I don't think so. Like to see other things in the game would be fantastic. I mean, like bringing the quad into a game, I think it's wicked. I mean, it's a quad. I mean, it was in Bad Company 2. Everybody yeah. loved it. Right? And I don't know why it took them so long to get that there because, I mean, that was a part of Bad Company too that everybody enjoyed. So, yeah. you know, uh, you know, I don't like to breed negativity and, you know, I do like how they patch the game. You look at 10 months later, we're still playing the same game. We're still talking about the same game. So they're doing something right. So, yeah. yeah, they're very true. Very true. Right? Mm-hmm. All right, Time, you got any last comments on this? No, I think I'm good. All right. So now we are going to jump into our Armored Kill Impressions, and by our Armored Kill impressions, I mean Jammin's impressions and our viewing <laughs> impressions, because he's the only one who's played it. We have all seen videos, we, we've read about people who, who wrote about it, and seen stuff like that, but uh, yeah, he's the only one who's playing it, so I guess we'll let you start off, and you can talk about the game modes, you know, the stuff you sort of brought up earlier, but we didn't go into detail, so uh, let us know, let us know what's going on with it. All right, well, first off, there's a couple guys in the chat that can probably help with this that uh, do play with me, and that's uh, Russia and Rebel. Uh, the maps are just absolutely great. They're huge, uh, even on console. As I mentioned earlier, on PC, I can't only imagine how big the maps are going to be. Uh, they play really well. They're not uh, glitchy or laggy. I don't see a lot of issues, about, you know, as you mentioned earlier, people going inside the map. Uh, but I am absolutely loving Bandar Desert. The... I think it's El Boar's Mountain. Yeah, not that's one. Of, yeah, not a fan of that uh, map. Uh, what's the other two? Armored Shield. I've only played that one once. And the third, fourth... Death Valley. Death Valley. Do the you like that map. as well? That, that's a night map. Now, everybody's playing the game. It said it looks blue, but I mean the moon is out. And it, it reminds me a lot of, uh, I think it's Port Valdez. was a night map? On, uh, or Boy Pass, either or. But... Uh, you know, the maps are great to start with, and with regards to armored kill, there's a lot of vehicles. If you're an infantry player, uh, you're probably not going to have a good time with these maps because if you get left out of a vehicle or your vehicle gets blown up by a uh, something up in the sky, you are going to do a lot of walking. So, you know. Uh, so, on vehicles, ahead. I haven't seen much of it, but something I was concerned about is not being able to get a vehicle, and I haven't seen too much of people. It's been a lot of action with it with vehicles, but. Yeah. I was worried because in some games when I'm playing, you know, you spawn at the spawn and, like, there's no vehicles, you know, and you're, like, sitting there and it takes forever and they're not in the action, like, who took our tank and, like, parked it on a mountain, you know. So <laughs> how is that, how is that, has that situation come up for you or not? Yeah, on Rush, there's a lot of vehicles, which seems a bit opposite as to what it should be, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, on Conquest, there should be a lot more vehicle-heavy because, I mean, you do have to move around a little bit more because, obviously, with Rush, you're going to generate towards two points of the map as opposed to five. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, how can I say this? If you get left of a vehicle, yeah, you're pretty well screwed. But does that happen commonly? Do you find that a common occurrence, or you pretty much always, there's almost always a vehicle you can get in? It's probably always an ATV, right? Well, what they're doing, uh, yeah, there's always an ATV. There's lots of ATVs through the map. And what they're doing on console, each there's a flag point on each map that if you control, you gain access to the AC-130. Yeah. So uh, on Bandar Desert, it's the E-flag. So if you control E-flag, the AC-130 is always available for you when you spawn. Right? Yeah. So... You can parachute it's, out of that, Scott, if you didn't know. Yeah, that. exactly, right? So, you know, vehicles seem okay. On Rush, there are vehicles everywhere. I'm not going to lie. I haven't watched an AC-130 gameplay yet, so... No. I don't know how <laughs> I've... It's a Call of Duty kill streak. that's all. <laughs> yeah, so I haven't looked at it. I've watched... I've seen some other tank play. I've seen... New, but I didn't watch any AC-130. It needs to come out of Rush. It needs to come... That's my biggest thing. It's got to come out of Rush. Just from gameplay, videos, I can tell. It needs to come out of Rush. There's a lot of vehicles on Rush. It's just I, so... Yeah. Go ahead. It's just that Rush is, like, linear. You know, like, Conquest is all over the place. Rush is linear. You're going from A to B. 
Yeah. You can predict the flow, and then you have this plane flying over that people are just jumping out of randomly. You, you know, on defense, how do you, you? There's no way to defend. You know, like there could be a guy parachuting behind you. You know, like I, I granted, you could always have done that, but it's just more so now. And I, I just, God, I hope they give me a toggle box on my server that I can just turn that sucker off. <laughs> Tom, what have, anything you've noticed oh, from a video? What I'd before? seen, uh, at least from where I was the issue one. I think I'd watched Jamin's video. I said respawn on it was a short two minutes. Yes. And man, if if that's up when the attackers have it armed, you are in a well. That's what it is. Yeah. World of hurt. Uh, yeah. They just shell the MCOM and you can't disarm it. Time I played the other night against, uh, or sorry, with a couple of players who have far better skill than mine, and we spent the whole every time we were defending. That's what we did. We basically sat on the rocks with stingers, trying to eliminate the AC-130. It's it's a real pain in the ass with the uh, rush. I'm not gonna lie. It's it's. <laughs> Uh, I hate to say the the words OP, but it is in the situation. But really? Why not? Put, why such a short timer? Is what I don't get. That's what that's what drives me nuts. You know, on Twitter, a few people were saying that AC-130 comes down real easy, and that's like I, said, no. I haven't watched AC-130 gameplay, but I saw a few tweets saying uh, it comes down easy. Are these guys different on Conquest, or what's? Uh... Well, on Conquest, it's because it's fly, It's kind of like a. Uh, it's on tracks around yeah. the sky, so obviously when you're dealing with uh, Conquest, the map's just so large that, I mean, if you're over on A flag and it's over by E flag, yeah, well, it's danger. not going to hurt you, okay. right? But with Rush again, where the maps are kind of you know, more linear, as Brian had said, uh, you know, it just seems like it's flying over the objectives all the time, and, and man, it is tough to deal with, because as soon as it's down, okay, well, we need to go defend the objectives. By the time you get the AC-130 down, the objectives are already armed, so I mean, yeah. it, it's not... Right. Yeah, I think the biggest problem is on consoles, there's not enough guys to go around. So you might have three guys on the AC-130, a yep. couple guys in vehicles. The, the attacking team is concerted effort. They're all 12 guys. Or, you know, I guess you got two in the AC-130, so you got 10 guys coming at you. You just spread too thin. Now, I'm hoping as we play on PC, for you know those of us that do, yep. you, know, you get into 32, 48, the, yeah. the effect of the AC-130 is going to be lessened. Yeah. You know, you're going to have more planes in the air. You can have more. You can have a whole team of engineers shooting stingers at it, and you can still have 25 guys, yeah. you know, what, a 24? Well, I guess you'd have 20 then, you know, shooting, you know, defending the MCOM, I guess. So, I mean, we kind of knew it was going to be a tough sell on consoles, and I guess we're just kind of seeing That's that out now. Ours, but who yeah. knows if it'll scale? I don't know. A A R S. H-E-S, I don't know how to pronounce the name here, 64, so it was 64 people, they don't think the AC, they're agreeing with you there, uh, Polygon Wizard mentioned, he's like, we should have, uh, dueling AC-130, so two up in there, <laughs> that'd be, that'd be uh, fun. 64 people though, I think, think about what happens if they don't shoot it down fast enough, it's just oh. like multi-kills yeah. everywhere. Oh, there's gonna be That's road kills everywhere. Because <laughs> 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 if you look, there's so many choke point routes... <sighs> Well, the first time I played, it, it, was, it, was, it was so frustrating. The first time I played it, when you get excited, you download these maps and you get the pack, the patch, and you get on it, and it's like, like you're de you're de you're de there's no warning you're going to die from the gunship. It's That's instant. what it is for me. Yeah, there's no noise, there's no nothing, just boom, <laughs> dead. Right? And then yeah. you spawn back in, and of course you have to spawn your teammate, try to help him to take it down, you're dead. Oh, it was, uh, it was not pretty. Right, so now as an infantry guy, i got to look out for players, claymores, which are persistent now. I gotta look out for vehicles. <laughs> I mean, all these things, and then just random god death out of the sky, like that. I can't do anything about, it. and that's that. It just drives me nuts. Like, I, you know what? I think I'd be okay if it was flyable, yeah. but if it's on rails, it's it's just yeah, it's on rails. get it out. <laughs> yeah, there's a few people, a lot of ideas for the AC-130. A lot of people have some good ideas, some interesting ideas. A few people agree. Take it out. We have King of Troy. Uh, at you corporate was just saying his idea for the AC-130 is if the attackers lose it before arming an MCOM, they don't get it back till they destroy that MCOM. That's sort of an idea I liked out of all that, these. That's a good point. Just yeah. something yeah. like yeah, it just something, about two yeah. minutes. Yep, that's not enough. So the the big question I have with armored kill right now is is it going to make it into servers regular map rotations like the way close quarters was? No one put it in their normal server rotation because no. you can only get at least really you could console. Yeah, yeah. And it was also it was a big change of pace. Player limit too was a big. So the player limit was. Are big people going to put it into their normal rotation with you know all the other rush maps like did they do like you do with back to Carcand? I hope so. It's I, same I, player, I really right? It's on console it's still yeah. twelve twelve. Yeah. That for me yeah. on my yeah. server the biggest thing with close quarters not going into my server was the player limit. I, you change yeah, player limits too. is not going to fit with the other things. You got to kick people out. Yeah. So that yeah. was the thing for yeah. with my server. But, I mean, I'm interested. I mean, Jen, I don't know if you've done this. Uh, did you play Squad Rush at all? 
or you know, no, or no, so, yeah. I have oh. no. four new squad rush maps. I didn't which think about that, That'd I'm probably the most excited about because I didn't have any much hopes for Conquest or Rush. So yeah. again, TDM maps, squad rush, squad TDM as well. So uh, Conquest is fun. I got, I gotta say, Conquest is fun. Uh, rush is just a nightmare for me. Have you played uh, the other game modes, uh, Jeremy? Like uh, I played, played TDM? Uh, TDM on Abor's Mountain. Uh, that's a really spawn trap kind of map because it's either in oh. one corner or the other. Uh. So it, it wasn't great fun. Uh, and I couldn't hit anything, so that didn't help either. So. <laughs> yeah. Right. But you know, the the maps are great. You know, uh, I'm sort of backtracking here, but just on Times comment, they also, I think, on console just this week or last week, added a lot more official servers. Is that true? Did. Did someone else? Yes, it is. I've seen a few more. Is that on PS3 too, Jim? Uh, you know? Yeah, it was Xbox. I'm not sure about PS3. Yeah. What was that source guy? They, I know on Xbox, just like last week, they added a whole bunch more official EA servers. Did they do that for you guys on PS3? Yeah, we never had any trouble whatsoever. Fun server, oh. server uh, rotation is great, and yeah, oh, it's pretty different. On cycle. Xbox, it's been pretty much like you get all the custom servers, you know. So yeah. I know they add a lot more. Yeah. So time, I'm thinking EA with new amount of servers, they'll probably have some that include it, you know, because that's yeah. sort of what they do. They include all their stuff, so should be fun. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. yeah, on Xbox it was getting hard to find a normal just if you wanted a rush server. Yeah, we don't, we don't have any. We don't have any on PC. Uh, it's it is, even it harder on PC because they don't give you the official server. We don't. I don't even know if they have official servers I don't, anymore. I, don't, I, don't I really don't think maybe. they do. So yeah, that's nah, the, it's tough. I mean, you see all these ridiculous 300 ticket rush maps. You're like, what? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I agree with you there, Brian, because uh, as you know, I built a gaming PC there probably two or three weeks, and the first thing I noticed is, man, why are these people playing all these large ticket? <laughs> Games like what are they doing, yeah. man? Who's got two hours playing one thing? Yeah. But people you know? play for like a one match takes them like forty-five minutes. I'm just like, oh, what yeah. are you doing? <laughs> like, right. I mean, it's one thing. Yeah, it's one thing on Conquest or a TDM or something, but it just doesn't work. Rush, they have to understand. There's there's a set number of tickets for a reason. It, like, who would ever want to defend? That? <laughs> I don't get it. Hey, Everything's Jamie. rubble. Russia here is saying you're out of rum, so now you got to take your hour smoke drink break. <laughs> is that is that normal yeah, thing? The boys know me too well, man. I gotta be honest <laughs> with you. They're, uh, yeah. Uh, Tom, were you gonna make yeah. a comment before I interrupt? No. You? Uh, good. All right. Well, um, any more impressions we want to talk about? I think we're doing good on time. But so we have anyone wants to do any fi closing comments or anything? I mean, I didn't have hopes at all for Armor Kill, so I'm actually already pleasantly surprised that I'm even thinking I might get some value out of Rush. I, like I said, I was all about Squad Rush, TDM, and Team uh, Squad Deathmatch. I was like, about the new game mode. Did that come? Superiority? Yeah, mm -hmm. did that even come up in our discussion? No, I haven't, haven't played it. Haven't played it? What? New guys, I've right played here. it about as much. <laughs> I, I've played it as much right now as I will have in a month. Let me yeah. put it to you that way. I, <laughs> I have no interest. Too. No yeah. interest at all. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Time, have you conquest. looked at it? you interested at all? Okay, so uh, last time around, after the PS3 guys had it for three weeks, I think I was with Premium, uh, everybody else had it for two weeks, and they're all kind of like, eh, this wasn't quite worth it. And I went ahead and got close quarters anyway. <laughs> it's, we're just going to see what happens. I, I got another two weeks to wait, and we'll see what everyone's were saying you, then. Were you happy with your close quarters purchase? It was okay. Yeah. Hmm. I think I would have fun with it, but right now I'm just like, I have so little time to game. I'm sort of yeah. ready for a new game. I'm pretty stoked about Medal of Honor. Hoping it's ooh, gonna be ooh, so, me, too. me too. You know, so for me, it's like, I would like to play it, but... I don't want to play it enough that I want to spend any money, and I didn't no. buy premium. So. That, that it doesn't make it into the regular map rotations with everything else. That's exactly it. <laughs> yeah. is, is the killer. It's a good yeah. thing, if though, was... if they do, it's a good way to get you to pay for it. Like, well, because if you get in a good server Bumble and you get server. kicked out, you're like, yeah. why do I keep getting kicked out? I won't, you know, so. Let yeah. me take just a minute. We'll look if there's. Actually, how about we'll, we'll wrap it up here, and if you guys don't mind, we can do just maybe a 15 minute post show. And really oh, keep it short sure. this time. Sure. All right, Absolutely. and then we'll have some comments for you guys in the chat. Still get it, connect with us a little bit. We'll be able to talk there and any other questions you have. If you're watching on YouTube, we really appreciate you staying through the whole time. Make sure you click on all these faces or go to the description. Check out these channels. Um, Jammin's got AK videos up right now, so if you're you're looking for some to see, oh, two, probably more. But you know, if you're watching YouTube, please, yeah. so, yeah. go <laughs> check it out those Astros. I know yeah. they'll. Yeah. Hey, hey, you know. God, yeah, showing off. I have my old yeah. old turtle beaches here. I haven't even right. processed my order yet. I'm so you would not believe how long it took me to get this headset. It was In a minute. Story. Post show. Yeah. we got to wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thank you for watching, guys. Come back. Check us live on Twitch or, you know, check us out here and, and subscribe to the show. And we'll see you then. Thanks for watching. You guys in the chat, stay tuned. We'll be right back.